G'day, welcome back to the Comma Depot. Today's video is going to be on my homemade Willy's Amphibious Jeep. We're going to see whether this Jeep is actually amphibious. A lot of people out there are like, oh yeah, I don't know if that'll go in the water, I don't know if that'll float. Today we're going to find out. Now, if you haven't been watching my blogs on, these, uh, on, this, on this build, um, I'll put some links in the description as well as up around us here and you'll be able to see the build of this and some of the other videos and some of the things I've done with it. Now this video, this Jeep <coughs> is uh, made mostly of bond wood. It has a, a steel chassis which I've added. The plans are obtainable by, from a company called Struck Corp in the USA and then you get the plans and you build your own Jeep basically. Um, I've done a few extra little things to this so I'm going to take you through in a minute. But uh, what you've got to do before you can take this Jeep in the water is you have to make a few, a few minor alterations between road use and water use. Um, and I will show you those in just a second too. Okay, so here's the plans for the, uh, for, for the Mini Beep, as it's called. Um, so it's a 80% replica of the Willys Jeep. Um, it is. It, it only has a small seven horsepower engine up here on the back which drives it. So it's basically like a, uh, what we use it for here anyway, is a, like a side-by-side -side farm vehicle. So I've, been, I've had it for about four years and I, I drive it all over the farm. Um, but here you can see it going in the water. So there's a couple of little additions you've got to make. One is you have to add these doors. Uh, which are in the plan, so they're easy to make. You just make these doors and they're held on with butterfly clips. I'll show you those, butterfly nuts, sorry. I'll show you those. The other thing is you have to add a rear storage box or a toolbox, which adds, just, it just helps the flotation a bit, which is this thing here at the back. Now this is handy if you go camping or something, you can put gear in it. Um, and it just, it just adds a little bit of uh, buoyancy should you get into trouble in the water and helps keep the whole Jeep stable. Now, propulsion is always a problem. Um, the original plans and the manufacturer, Struck Corp, recommend that you use an electric outboard. I didn't want to spend the money on an electric outboard uh, for something I'm hardly ever going to use. So I've come up with, and today is our prototype testing, paddles. I really don't know how this is going to go. I'm hoping that we'll have enough steerage uh, from resistance from the front wheels when I turn the front wheels. And then what I've done here is I've just literally got a couple of boards and mounted some uh, four millimeter metal brackets to them and connected them to the existing wheel studs. And the idea obviously is that these will paddle you through the water. So we'll see if that works. That should be a bit of fun. Um, these are the doors. So the doors are fitted, ready for the water. They have a small rubber seal going around there. I actually just use a windscreen wiper blade for my rubber seal and I just put it in before I tighten up the butterfly nuts here which hold it in place. Um, I have fitted a bilge pump on mine just in case we do start to take water. There's a bilge pump there which is underneath which when I put the power on will come on. A little bilge pump just in case we do start to take water. Um, and that's about, that's all the only differences you have to make. So to get this Jeep ready to go in the water takes about 5-10 minutes uh, to put on the door, put on the paddles. Uh, that's about it really. Um, so let's get on with it. Let's see if she floats. Let's have some fun. Let's take her in the water and see what happens.
Well, that was a bit of a major failure. The um, paddles didn't work at all. And the reason for that is because the tires were a lot lower in the water than I, than I expected them to be. And um, as the paddle's turning, it's giving you an equal amount of propulsion forwards as it is backwards. So we're just not moving, we're sitting there splashing. So we've omitted the paddles. There they are over there, chucked on the floor. And we brought out plan B, which is this. Ooh. I brought on eBay for like $30, so we'll see how this goes. Um, it's just a battery drill propeller. So we'll give that a bash, eh? See how we go. Well, it's moving us, not very fast, but it is moving us. Okay, I've repositioned myself in the back of the car so I can work this little electric motor um, like an electric outboard. And we'll see how this goes. So, try going uh, backwards. God, it's slow, but it's working. Well, I don't have any fish in this dam, I've, uh, but I do have some freshwater crayfish, so we'll try and catch some of those. So I brought a trap out with me. We'll throw that out and come back and get it in a bit. And see if we have any luck. And we'll chuck out the float. I wonder if we can reach this, uh, this drill to control this propeller from the driver's seat. Let's see if we can get back there. I've got a spare battery in case the battery runs out. Oh, we got a little bit of water on board, but I think most of that got on from splashing with the uh, when I had those silly paddles on. Oh. Right. Well, it's floating well. Everything's working the way it should. You can reach that from back here. All right. Let's check our trap, see if we've caught anything. Yes, there's one. Look at that. That is a freshwater crayfish that we get here in Western Australia called a marron. A very good eating. Bit of a delicacy. Oh, there's quite a few we've caught in there. We can bring on board. Wow. Quite a feed in there. But we'll be we're only catching these to show you, so I'll be letting them go. Let's open up and get one out. Let go. The idea is to pick them up without getting pinched, because as you can imagine, they're pinches. The pinches are pretty strong. These ones are a bit clayey, so you'd soak them in um, 
fresh water for a while first to get the clay off and that but they're delicious cut fried in um, garlic butter on the barbecue or boiled we'll let him go off you go oh if you were escaping into the into the jeep ah we'll have to get them yeah what we'll do is we'll put the trap back let them escape out and we'll come back for it but look at these fellas we got on board we got some stowaways maybe we'll keep them take them that might be my dinner tonight just two perfect two for dinner okay going to drive out up the bank we have to go out backwards in in this jeep because it's not four drive so two-wheel drive so the back wheels will grip on the bank hopefully so we'll start the engine So summing up, the paddles were a bit of a disaster, they didn't work, but um, I mean that's what a DIY, building your own stuff is all about. You get to try different things, see if they'll work, and if they don't, well you, you try something else. Uh, the electric outboard motor, that's okay, that moves it along slowly, you really do need a much powerful one, um, but that's okay. Before I took it in the water again, or take it in the water again, I would definitely get a, get a bigger outboard. But the Mini Beep is stable. It uh, handles the water fine, it didn't leak. The only water that you saw in it was from the, the paddles splashing water inside. So she floats like a boat, just like the advert says. So I'm pretty impressed, everything seems to work fine. We have a very steep bank going into our dam and it's very slippery clay. So yeah, that's uh, the, being a two wheel drive, that's a bit of a challenge. So talking of challenges, I've got a challenge for um, myself. Uh, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will take this Mini Beat Jeep on a 200 kilometer cross country trip with no support vehicles, just myself, some camping gear, cameras so I can bring you guys along and we'll see how it goes. Uh, but we need to hit 1,000 subscribers for that. I'm not going out into the Australian bush to tackle crocodiles and drop bears and all sorts of nasty snakes, spiders for just the 200 subscribers I've got. Um, so that's the challenge. We hit 1,000 subscribers. We're going to go on an adventure in the Mini B. So if you want to see that and you're watching this and you're not already subscribed, then subscribe and uh, you'll get to come on that adventure with us. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.